Today, federal offices closed to commemorate Juneteenth. The holiday recognizes the day when slavery finally ended in the United States. And TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Barbara Bellinger went to Bay College to learn how the administration there was honoring Juneteenth for the first time. Today is the day in 1865 when the very last enslaved black people in the United States became aware of their freedom. Amy Redinger is the Vice President of Academic Affairs and Educational Equity at Bay College. She says the 250,000 who gained their freedom that day had actually been free since Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. They just didn't know it. It took 18 months for those last people in Galveston, Texas to learn about their emancipation. That's one of the many reasons why the college held its first Juneteenth celebration on its Escanaba and Iron Mountain campuses today. Bay College has a really strong commitment to diversity and we thought it was really important to celebrate this national holiday. The celebration included lunch for students and staff and dessert. The college served red velvet cake today. Redinger told me after our interview that that cake has a special significance to Juneteenth, so I looked it up. According to History.com, one meaning is that red foods represent the blood shed by enslaved people in the United States. Right, and we are truly a melting pot, and when one person is enslaved, we are all enslaved. Mould said the college picks federal holidays that represent its diverse student body and staff. And he said this might be the first Juneteenth celebration, but it won't be the last. Barbara Bellinger, TV6 News, Escanaba.